Hi everyone, so this is going to be a short introduction to management. The objective of, the, of this video is to show an understanding of course material and entertain through education. It's a project for a management course at Sajib Champlain de Lawrence for the winter 2016 semester with Mr. Jonathan Ford. The content of the course uh, video excuse me, are going to cover chapters 1 and 2 of uh, the book, which is Management and History of Management. The book is Management by Chuck Williams, Terry Champion, and High Call by Nelson Education. So as I said, the content is going to be a brief history of management, followed by scientific management, then management, the various types of managers, uh, managerial roles, and what companies look for in managers. Therefore, our management began in uh, 5000 before Christ, which is pretty a long time ago. It began with the Sumerians and record keeping. As a matter of fact, this, uh, these people uh, started by keeping tracks of uh, their records. So that was a way of management uh, at that time, even though it has evolved a lot, it was the first uh, step of uh, this science. Then the Egyptians took over and the pop functions were introduced, which were uh, functions of uh, planning, organizing and controlling. And the Egyptians began with the written request of their uh, favors and requests for uh, senior Egyptians. Continuing scientific management is a thorough study of uh, different methods uh, for work to identify the best and most efficient way to complete a job. The father of this science is Frederick uh, W. Taylor, which is a scientist uh, from a long time ago, who discovered that uh, management through a variant method of uh, working could help managers to find the best way to uh, manage employees, manage operations, and manage uh, everything so that success can be achieved. Other key words of this uh, concept include motion study, time study, and Gantt chart. As you can see, this is an example of a Gantt chart. So Gantt chart can be produced uh, through uh, software like Excel or free software, which can be also found uh, on the web. Uh, it's like a table with uh, all different tasks that need to be performed, and you can uh, highlight the tasks that are the most important to complete, and thus uh, it helps you to find a uh, Find the end of your project through a better accomplishment and a better organized. Continuing management, which is the core of uh, this video, uh, good management is working to others to accomplish tasks that help fulfill organizational organizational objectives as efficiently as possible. Therefore, a minimum of effort extends for waste is uh, the goal of this uh, science. And usually, manager is not a doer, he or she is a speaker. So the manager is responsible for delegation of tasks so that he can have a step back position as to better uh, manage employees and operations. So, as I said previously uh, in the content of this video, there are various types of managers, which include sub manager, middle manager, first line manager, and team leader. Sub-manager are those uh, people responsible for change in the organization, for the work environment, and for the vision of the business. So when something is going to change in the business, it comes from sub-manager. Then, it goes down to middle-manager. They are responsible for organizing resources and allocating them, implement the changes made by sub-manager, and ensuring that coordination of all resources and sub-units is well done. Then, first line managers, they are responsible for training staff, uh, scheduling a workforce, and facilitation as team leaders. So as I said, team leaders are also responsible for facilitation. They are also responsible for internal relationships and external relations. So they ensure that uh, good work atmosphere is uh, in the workplace and that relationships with uh, partners, suppliers, and clients is, uh, is good. Concerning managerial roles, there are three types of roles. First one is interpersonal. The manager is responsible for uh, ensuring that relationships uh, stay, uh, stay at a good level of communication, respect, uh, behavior. So every type of relationships must be uh, made in a manner that ensure uh, production and efficiency. Then informational, informational role is also performed by managers. And this includes uh, reporting of performance. 
managers, they want to ensure that all their performance is recorded, that you keep track of it, so that you can improve in the future. Concerning decisional role, it includes the uh, roles of entrepreneur, decision maker. Uh, when you need to take a decision, you need to uh, hold this role so that the decision is made in the vision of the business. Finally, what companies look for in managers? They look for balance. So as everything in life, you need balance. By balance, I mean, I mean uh, technical skills, human skills, conceptual skills, and motivation to manage. So in other words, the best manager is going to be the manager that has a little bit of everything. If he has a lot of every skill, then that's the perfect thing. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it gave you an overview of uh, one minute, what management is and a brief introduction. If you want to know more about management, you can Google or check for videos that include uh, keywords that were presented in this video. Thank you.